Ring the alarm, cause you know it's born. Bro, to be bringing the thunder like he came equipped with a storm. All of that talking, though, it ain't gonna ride, boy, this ain't a cab. No, you ain't ready, I think you should really go back to the lab. Cause you gonna lose whoever you choose, fam, I'm gonna put up a bit. Whether he passing or running, it's getting dotty or sticky. Yeah, he the winner and your team a loser, you better know that before you pick him. Whipping up a bumper liar, might go for a tug on the yiggles. Yeah. What up, though? It's your boy Farmer. We back, man, with another Mad Online rank match. Before we get into anything, ran a fire on them whole one time. Oh, man, I got a doozy for you, boy. This was like a weird, really good game that probably shouldn't have been a good game. Hold on, y'all. Like, I know a lot of y'all been wondering why your boy ain't streamed this week, bro. I've been having some really, really bad eye stream. Like, yesterday was horrible, dog. So I gotta set this eye point to get these glasses, man. I got, I got stigmatism. I think it's in my right eye. But I low-key didn't have it since I was little, I just didn't know. Like, if you ever was like... Alright, how many of y'all were driving at night and then you guys seen, like, the back of a uh, car and that shit was, like, way blurry? I'm gonna put a picture up right now so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Uh, that always that meant you had a stigma to I've seen stuff like that my whole life. I just didn't know that was true. I just didn't know that's what that meant, bro. Or like if you put your hand close to your face and you see two hands, that means you need glasses. I didn't know that, bro. I thought that was normal because I used to ace my eye tests. I used to kill them Jones. I used to cheat though too. I think I think I used to look at the uh, board and memorize them a little bit too. I can't remember. But yeah, I gotta set up this eye appointment and get these glasses, man. So this, cause you know these LED lights, bro. I got lights all around me, and then I'm staring at a monitor, the two monitors, and it ain't good for the eyes, fam. It it made everything worse. But yeah, so back to this gameplay, fam. Um, I don't know if this game proves DDA, guys. You guys comment down below. Also. Like at the end of the game, whether you not if whether or not you think DDA played a part or fam just like had the game of his life. Because y'all see his record. So this should have been like just easy smoke session. And it was not. You know what I'm saying? I can't even tell you how frustrating this game was at one point, bro. But y'all definitely about to see. Y'all let me know. And a lot of y'all don't be honest, man. In the comment section, like when I say, "Hey, what's the, the team?" You put? Nobody in the comment section put the Packers. Imagine that. Out of all the people who comment on my videos, you know what I'm saying, or watch the videos, nobody. You know what? Or maybe the people who play with the Packers just didn't comment. We gonna rock out with that. But yeah, man. Um, when y'all see this video today, I will be live on Twitch tonight. Um. I'll be running some Madden, of course, and then maybe I'll finish it out with some RP. Y'all comment down below as I, oh, oh, boy, that's a current GM bait right there. That's a current GM bait right there with my boy uh, Chef here. We take it to the crib. Quick six though, Lee. So I'm thinking like this is going to be a smoke session. I'm going to destroy dude and get on to the next game because low key these Falcons is hella underrated, famo. But yeah, like I said, I will be live on Twitch tonight. Uh, the link to my Twitch is in the description. Go drop your boy a follow and a sub. I'm trying to hit 200 subs, 2K followers over there. Um, I mainly play Madden. With my Twitch subscribers, I will be having an MLB The Show League, though. You know what I'm saying? The league is all made up and done. I just got to add, you know what I'm saying, the people who uh, subscribe to me on Twitch. I just got to add them, and then I'll be filling in other people as uh we move on but yeah we, we will be having the mlb the show league i play some gta rp on there i'm a hey i'm getting better bro t uh click your boy got 150 m's now boy talk to me nice talk to me nice you know what i'm saying but that's 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 the entirely different community for my youtube man uh for my youtube streams you know what i'm saying which i will add those for y'all that weekend man shut your mouth also, 
that merchy erchy man go copy all some merch man i got uh the leggings for the ladies you know what i'm saying we up we got the socks for everybody the boyfriend that come out with the baby clothes you know what i'm saying so go ahead and cop some merch link for that is in the description on days also bro you know what i'm saying we trying to uh expand a lot but right here so he comes out on single back dub he was primarily in a lot of under center stuff a lot of under center stuff and i think what made him annoying as hell bro was the fact first he broke dumb tackles and i think it's like he i never knew what he was gonna do like when you play good players they all have like good player tendencies you know what i'm saying whether it be they reads uh they defense uh their adjustments everything that they want to do all players have these certain tendencies of play call and fam didn't have none of that he just was playing all right look what would i want to run this time and then he was out here in the community so that was definitely giving me a hard time because you make your adjustments based off the level of skill players that you play on the regular so I'm making adjustments for dudes who really like really be out here on the Madden tip. Uh, like I know uh, they route combos what they usually want and things of that nature. Fam ain't had none of that. He ain't have none of that, fam. So I spent most of the game like, yo, what's wrong with dude, bro? Why you playing like that? What play like play like everybody else? You know what I'm saying? But he wasn't on none of that. Right here, he come out and gun ace offset, which is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Something else you don't expect. I'm thinking ace offset. He catch me on the quick hike, takes a big hit from Deion Jones, still don't fumble the ball. So I'm like, okay, cool. That's the second time I put a hit on Russ. He not fumbling that rock. So what that means is eventually he's going to score a touchdown this drive. That's just, you know what I'm saying, how it is. Drop picks, misplays like that. Boom, right there, good dot. You know what I'm saying? He caught me chasing Metcalf, actually made a good read, and hit the guy underneath. He ran PA double post on your boy. PA double post. It's a bit of a new play, bro. Keep it a stack with you. Keep it a thigh wide. But it's, it's one of those plays that uh, noobish type players run. But it's really, it could be really good though. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like a slot offset, bro. But yeah, so coming back on, uh, I'm irritable. This is actually my first time getting the ball. I'm like, okay, so I'm finna just cook this dude, get back on defense, get a stop, and get him to quit. Right here, only thing I gotta worry about is them two. Molly Maul and Bobby Wag. Billy Wag is what I used to call him on Madden 20. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you are OG, then you know what's up to the channel right here huh, hit that boy julio on a uh what i hit him on corner route don't get the feet down that's julio bro he always get the foot into down so it's like cool i'm gonna check down to this inside zone but then i get rock right there after that i want to say i went on conservative yep yep i know me go right on conservative i'm not playing no games when you play against noobish, not noobish players, but players who you feel like your skill level is higher than the last thing you can do is take a chance as I hit him up top. Do your shot guy with my dog, Big Julio, and we take that to the crib. For all y'all finna complain, Julio was the best tight end in fourth grade in the, in the country. Everybody know that. If you don't know that, you really need to, uh, you know what I'm saying, get your knowledge up, bro, because everybody know that about Julio. Everybody. So coming back out, now he's at empty base. Let me know, like, that should have been a pick right there. Is empty base a good offensive formation? Or is it a formation that a lot of, uh, I don't know how to say it, tight players run? Because I've never, I've been, I've, I've been picked apart once since I've been doing this YouTube thing by empty base. It was this year and it was on next year. But usually when I see empty base, I'm like, same streaks. That's really all all, I, all you got to worry about in empty base is same streaks. Because that's really all people throw. 
Now, as you can see, like it's not like I'm having issues with his run game. I just don't know what he's going to do when he drop back to pass. He don't have regular uh, reads. You know what I'm saying? And like I was saying uh, earlier in the video, even like top tier players have those reads. That, like if they go to a smash uh, combo on the field, you can pretty much tell what their progressions are as they go through it. Um, even as he goes right there, that should have been another pick. Uh, even when they, and this is when the game started to get weird for your boy. Like, I'm not catching any pit nicks. Even if they go smash, uh, they go to high low reads, uh, levels kind of like you could pretty much tell what somebody reads are when you're playing better players. Now, just because you know what they reads are does not mean that you're going to be able to stop them right here. He throws in traffic again, but he comes up with it. So that's three straight throws out of what three different formations, all at my uh, players, and we don't make a play on the ball. Which you, I, I don't ever really get too set about because I got the Falcons. I got the Falcons, so I'm not really expecting them to make every single play on the ball because their skill level ain't really there. Like, don't get me wrong, they really underrated, but that don't mean they, that they like super good. They just not as trash as the game would want you to think they are right here. Throw at me again. Not I. I get it. He actually plays the ball that time. He just don't play it well. So I'm like, all right, so this is just going to be one of them games, bro. And then he come out, quick hike your boy while I'm on the D-line. Like, like, come on, bro. And there's nothing wrong with the quick hike. I just don't want him to do it to me. Because it's really, like, annoying playing quick hikers. Especially, and usually people who quick hike, they don't make adjustments, bro. They just playing. Like, they don't care nothing about what you're talking about as he goes back to the read option. Actually pick, picks up good yards. You know what I'm saying? So you, you can't call it a bad play if you good. pick up some good positive yardage. So right here, I'm like, man, he gonna score. I dropped too many picks to uh, be able to get that stop. That stop was in the past. That stop ain't happening no more. Shut your mouth about it. So coming out here, we already know the stretch is coming. I'm looking to just have one of my guys shoot the gap and then I come in behind him. But none of that happens right here because you are like, come on, bro. Carson gonna run you over in here with it. He gonna run if you want. His cup runneth over with runneth over. You know what I'm saying? That's a bar. Shut your mouth. That's a hundred percent a bar. So here we go. Back on O. I'm like, maybe I can squeeze three out of this. I don't want to force the ball upfield. Because the moment you do that is when dudes like this get a pick. Then they confidence swell. And boy, they think they really about something. So right here, I hit uh my dog, Zucchini. And he gets it down, so I'm like, cool. I probably can take one shot at the end zone now. I'm going to take one shot. I'm probably going to come back out and flank audible back down the flanker dig. You know what I'm saying? Motion out. Yeah, y'all, boy, y'all ain't finna know anything. Boy, finna uh, try to know anything I be doing out here in the community. So right here, he actually user rushed me. Which was, I don't even think fam, like, really was trying to really do that like that, boy. He, uh, boy. He ain't really out here in the community like that. So we come back out here on O. I'm like, I know for sure I'ma put the the score together. I know this. I know I'ma score. Like he usering Billy Wag. So defensively, he's not a threat. Feel how you want. If if you using a linebacker, bro, you is not a threat to stop nothing I got going on out here in the community. You figure deal me? Nothing. I'm finna throw that ball all around the field. You you got Billy Wag, so you you might be able to, you know what I'm saying, put together a little hit sticky stick, but that's it. But you not finna stop none of these dots that's coming. Unless I just make the worst read ever, which I will do. You know what I'm saying? I, I keep it a thigh wild. Sometimes I make a read and I'm like, boy, you don't, boy, you don't need dessert to be in the community. Boy, get me up out the community. Call the people who uh who be getting folk up out the community and tell them to come get me. So right there, I, I zig and zag to avoid 
Billy Wag. Oh my God, I'm killing it with the bars, bro. Smack holla at your boy. And then, you know what I'm saying, I get out of Molly Mall way also. Right here, hit him with the power row. You know what I'm saying? Just run, run sideways when he closing in. I didn't avoid the animation that time, but usually I'm able to. I'm able to avoid these big hitters usually very well. And I'm, I stick away from right there. I, I didn't. God dang, I just jigged myself. So coming back out, I'm probably about to uh, try to hit him with that delay. Fade or right here, I think I will go level sales. Yep. I know myself. I know myself so well. Do your shock guy hit that man with the dot right in between the safety and the linebacker. Backflip Julio, shut your mouth. Like, it, like Matt Ryan was balling for your boy. But like I said, he got too many linebackers on the field to actually be able to contend with my offense, man. Four wide receiver set. I'm sorry, three wide receiver set. And then fourth grade tight end Julio on the field. Shut your mouth. So right here, like, you know, like when you play somebody and you feel like you should have been getting stops, you like, yo, right here is where all the BS in. I'm not about to play no more games. I'm finna bag up. That's what I was saying in my head, but my heart, you know what I'm saying? Well, like, boy, shut your mouth. Uh, he finna do what he want to, cause you don't even know what he finna do. Like, I was thinking he was in a custom, but then I'm like, yo, bro, the plays he running, besides this single back dude stretch, don't nobody run. So I can't even say dude in a custom because he running a whole bunch of stuff nobody else run. So this very, all this dookie could very well be in one playbook. Very well could be. And then right there, I do a horrible job of you to make myself look trash. And it's like, bro, I'm not playing bad. I'm not. I'm playing a swell football game. But I got a lot of drop picks, a lot of missed opportunities. And then right here, we actually do a good job of wrapping up. I enjoy playing with these Falcons. Uh, I'm probably going to end up playing with them a little bit more in the future, bro. So if you see me bopping out with these Falcons up in the community, boy, shut up. Right here, he wanted the first play that I actually recognized. He comes, so now I'm like, okay, he in Seattle. I think, and he quick hikes me again, and he just take off. The nigga just get to running, and he catch that. Come on, man. Come on, man. And then he not even running the stuff. People run out of uh, uh, what, that, what that was, bro, rain formation. Like, come on now, people won't like, come on boy, shut your mouth, he uh, who throwing that? And then this nigga Deion Jones come clear out of, come play the ball, but he don't even play the ball, you know what I'm saying? Like, boy, get up on my community. So he coming back out in the single back, I, I got pretty good uh, single back stretch defense. As long as I get there with my user, it's a pass. Come on, we gonna bag that up. Of course, he gonna roll out. And then take a sack. He don't even got the wherewithal to throw the ball away. This is who I'm having a hell game with, bro. Up in the community. Then why next gen like is crazier than current, bro? Cause you never gonna have hell games with people like who uh records is not that. And I am. Throw at me. Come on, bro. Throw it through at me again, bro right through the hands bro he a professional throw at her bro he went to school for this boy he got a degree that's above his bed that say graduated from the university of boy shut your mouth specialized throw at her that what he do like he struck up some deal where he don't gotta pay for his sins so now he fam coming out in pistol that was actually a decent read, and he actually got down. He he was able to squeeze that right in between uh, a purple and a deep safety that I had come down. So that was actually a good read. FL cross, come on, bro. Who run the FL cross out of pistol? So he goes back to single back uh, tight Z. So I'm like, all right, man, let's just try to do something, bro, and just.
tackle him as we uh, tackle him right there for no gain. Like, he's broke enough, I want to say, one decent run. Besides that, his run ain't was giving me issues, bro. It's these random reads and this fluff it I'm going to throw at you. Like, that's what's really getting me, bro, because, like, we've been in posi position to make, like, 30 plays on the ball. We just ain't did nothing. So right here, probably going to the read option again. Uh, cool, I'm ready for that. As you see, I'm right around that edge, and this nigga spins me. That was actually a good spin, I ain't gonna hold you. But then, he don't even go down, bro. And he spent, so he not on conservative. So that mean Russell just been eating all these hits, man. He been eating all these hits the one time. I try to be smart and not go for the hit stick laundry mat. You know what I'm saying? Boy, put me in, look at this. And then straight spin cycle. And then Carson finishes the runs off by glitching through a, a 97 people untouched. And then he runs in the end for a touchdown. I'm distraught, bro. I'm like, fluff this. Right here, I'm like, I'm going one play touchdown next drive. I'm going one play touchdown. It is what it is. I don't even care. So, coming out in the offense, I already know what I'm coming out in. He got a uh, slow Billy Wag, so I'm not worried about him. I want to say he got digs in the secondary, so I'm probably going to get the one on one matchup with him and Julio. So, I'm like, I'm just going to throw this boy right over the top of the head. And then I want to get on, I want to get back on defense. Like, I don't even want to play offense and run and kill clock. I don't want to do none of that. All I want to do is score as quickly as possible and then get back on defense and bag this dude up because I'm irritated to the max, boy. So you can see right here, I'm like, oh, yeah, and Julio lighting up. And Julio lighting up, boy, with the uh, double me. I'm for sure about to take a shot. So picking my plays out, you already know what I'm going to go to. Uh, level sales is the base that I come out of here. And then I see what look I got, audible down. So you see I audible down to the flanker dig. I'm finna motion him out, making a little slight adjusties on uh, what I want what I want to do. Excuse me. And then boom, I got what I want. Split the seams. Boom. Dot. For the tug, let's go. Let's get back on defense and let's hoop. Ain't no getting back. He rage quits. Weirdest dude I've ever played in my life. Then look at this, y'all. Let me let me take y'all out in the community, bro. Uh, I think my record is. I don't know what my record is now. Actually, yeah, it's it's around this. I think I got, I finally got my 50th loss though. Yeah, the video I showed y'all and I said worst way to uh look at this boy record, y'all. Look at this boy record, man. I think I'm like 375 and 50 now. Actually, no, because I was on the 22. It might be like 380 and 50 now. I'm not sure. But 15 and 18 on an eight-game losing streak, bro. And this will y'all give me a straight hell game against, bro. Cause I can't catch nothing. I don't even want to talk to y'all no more. Appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Hope you all enjoyed this gameplay. And man, I get it y'all tomorrow. Come through the Twitch stream tonight.